Ellen, were you surprised by the allegations about P. Diddy? Did that surprise you about P. Diddy? Ellen, can you He's been on your show many times. In Inevitably, Ellen Degeneres became the first female president. Inevitably, the spotlight swings to Ellen Degeneres. 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 Yeah, she's definitely invited. I invite you to all my parties. You just haven't seen me show up. Her discomfort palpable, especially when grilled about the infamous bash thrown by Diddy Diddy, a frequent guest on The Ellen Show, now finds his past appearances under the microscope. In those interviews, he often gleefully recounts tales of his wild parties, even teasing Ellen about her stepfast refusal to attend. Yet, whispers hint that Ellen might have lurked in the shadows of Diddy's soirees not the glitzy affairs typically associated with him, but at clandestine gatherings where whispers of illicit deeds linger. Adding fuel to the fire, unsettling footage resurfaces, capturing Ellen prodding Justin Bieber with discomforting questions. With speculation swirling that Justin might have been a victim of Diddy's circle, fans now question if Ellen turned a blind eye to the dark underbelly of Hollywood. As shadows deepen around their friendship, hard evidence remains elusive. Speculation swirls about Ellen's possible attendance at Diddy's rumored freak-off parties, yet no smoking gun emerges. Amidst a federal investigation into Diddy's alleged misdeeds, Ellen's role remains murky, raising eyebrows and prompting further scrutiny. Diving deeper, let's explore why whispers of Ellen's alleged involvement echo louder than expected. While Ellen hasn't faced the legal firestorm engulfing Diddy, her reputation as one of Hollywood's toughest characters raises questions. Rumors, though unverified, paint a picture of a darker side to Ellen's sunny persona. Both Diddy and Ellen, masters of their crafted personas, now find their masks slipping, revealing glimpses of their true selves. Ellen's journey traces back to the 1980s when she burst onto the scene as a stand-up comedian, Igniting laughter in the dimly lit venues of New Orleans before blazing trails on nationwide tour. Her leap into the TV spotlight came with Open House in 92, though fleeting. It set the stage for her breakthrough in These Friends of Mine, later renamed Ellen. But it was her fearless revelation of her true self on The Oprah Winfrey Show in 97 that truly shook the ground. Culminating in the iconic The Puppy episode, we're writing the script for LGBTQ plus representation in television history. Transitioning back to stand-up before warring back with The Ellen Show in 2001, Ellen's crowning achievement awaited with The Ellen DeGeneres Show, a daytime juggernaut. Yet, beneath the surface of her affable TV persona, cracks began to form. Despite her reputation as America's sweetheart, Stories emerged of Ellen's less-than-kind treatment of her sitcom's writing staff in 2007. Behind closed doors, she was set to criticize their work while donning a smile during rehearsals. Similar whispers followed, but it was in 2016 that the dam truly broke. Kathy Griffin's memoir spilled the beans on a chilling encounter with a beloved talk show host with short blonde locks, later confirmed to be Ellen. This revelation tore away at the carefully constructed facade exposing a side of Ellen that clashed starkly with her sunny public image. Zooming ahead a couple of years, the floodgates opened as more celebrities shed light on Ellen's less-than-pleasant demeanor. Clips of her brusque interactions and discomforting moments with stars spread like wildfire across social media. One particularly cringeworthy instance harks back to Ellen's 2008 interview with Mariah Carey, a prime exhibit of her relentless pursuit of ratings. Rumors swirled about Mariah's possible pregnancy, yet the singer hadn't confirmed a thing. Despite Mariah's evident unease with the topic, Ellen persisted, prodding her to spill the beans in a jaw-dropping move. Ellen even attempted to coax Mariah into sipping champagne on air to dispel the rumors. In 2020, Mariah Carey peeled back the curtain on the infamous incident in an interview with Vulture, revealing the discomfort she endured and the emotional toll it took. Unbeknownst to many, Mariah had suffered a miscarriage prior, making the pressure from Ellen all the more insensitive. Mariah expected empathy, but Ellen fell short, leaving a bitter aftertaste. Enter the indomitable Wendy Williams, 
Embroiled in a public spat with both Diddy and Ellen, rumor has it, Diddy axed Wendy from her radio gig in the 90s after she hinted on air about his sexuality. As for Ellen, their clash was palpable. Reports swirled of Ellen's passive-aggressive stance toward Wendy, evident during Wendy's appearance on her show. Throughout, Ellen's lack of enthusiasm about Wendy's show renewal hung thick in the air. But the plot thickened when Wendy, known for her razor-sharp wit, cracked a joke likening Ellen to Justin Bieber. It was a classic case of the jokester being unable to take a punch, as Ellen's discomfort under Wendy's scrutiny laid bare her vulnerability. Let's rewind to a defining moment involving Dakota Johnson, where she turned the tables on Ellen. Exposing her penchant for tall tales, Ellen's known for spinning yarns for laughs, and most stars play along. But Dakota Johnson refused to dance to her tune. When Dakota graced the Ellen show in December 2019, the air turned frosty as she called out Ellen's fib about missing her 30th birthday bash. Ellen squirmed, visibly uncomfortable as Dakota held her ground. Despite Ellen's attempts to shift gears, Dakota wasn't budging. Armed with evidence, she pointed out the invitation snafu, leaving Ellen red-faced and flustered, adding salt to the wound. Dakota made it clear there was another comedian she rated higher, delivering a knockout blow to Ellen's ego. It's a textbook case of what happens when narcissists get called out. The contrast between Dakota's stand and Diddy's moment on Jimmy Kimmel Live is stark. Both instances reveal cracks in the facade, exposing the raw nerves beneath the glitz. Just before Cassie's bombshell lawsuit last November, Diddy sat down with Jimmy Kimmel. When Jimmy probed about his ex-bodyguard and the wild accusations, Diddy's composure cracked, mirroring Ellen's discomfort with Dakota. These moments peel back the glossy veneer, laying bare the fragility of public personas. Both Diddy and Ellen face damning allegations of mistreating staff, in Diddy's case. Recent lawsuits uncover disturbing mistreatment within his inner circle, but this isn't new. Back in 2017, his former chef Cindy Rueda sued, alleging sexual harassment and retaliation. Rueda's testimony paints a disturbing picture of her time working for Diddy. Allegedly hired in 2015, she claims to have toiled long hours without fair compensation. But the most harrowing allegations center on Diddy's post-coital demands. Rueda asserts she was forced to serve meals to Diddy and his pals immediately after their trysts, often while they were in various states of undress. One shocking incident involved a friend parading naked into the kitchen, expecting admiration. When Rueda raised her concerns to Diddy's estate director, Stacy Friend, she alleges they fell on deaf ears. Instead, she found herself framed for theft and subsequently sacked. Rueda claims she was coerced into returning a supposedly discarded watch under threat of prosecution, then pressured to sign away her rights to legal recourse. Meanwhile, Ellen's treatment of her employees has sparked outrage. Multiple complaints surface, leading to the demise of her talk show. Descriptions of Ellen's behavior range from military-like precision at home to downright torment in the workplace. According to a former housekeeper, Ellen relished in barking orders and firing staff over minor slip-ups. She even compiled passive-aggressive lists nitpicking trivial mistakes like bull choices and latte frothiness. But the revelations don't end there. Another ex-staffer unveiled Ellen's penchant for setting traps before leaving for work. These covert tests involved strategically placing matches to assess the thoroughness of the cleaning crew. Ellen's obsession with perfection seems to have crossed into the realm of surveillance, leaving a chilling impression of her management style. The depth of Ellen's mistreatment seems to permeate every corner of her life, from her home to her workplace. Handymen, security guards, and others dreaded visits to her abode, anticipating her scathing critiques. The situation reached a boiling point when a top Hollywood security firm cut ties with her over a ludicrous complaint Ellen couldn't stand the way their guards walked. But it wasn't just criticism, Ellen's demeanor bordered on abusive. Workers endured her condescending tirades, leaving them feeling small and worthless. One former employee likened her attitude to torture resigned to endure it because a paycheck hung in the balance.
Even Ellen's furry companions seemed to recoil from her presence. While they greeted her wife, Portia, with joy, Ellen's arrival barely elicited a wag. Some staff went so far as to label her the worst person they'd ever encountered, convinced she derived pleasure from wielding the axe. The downfall of the Ellen show stemmed from its toxic core. A damning BuzzFeed report in July 2020 unveiled a culture of fear and mistreatment. Employees faced termination for attending funerals or taking medical leave, with Ellen allegedly turning a blind eye to racism and abuse. Former DJ Tony Oko lent credence to these claims, acknowledging the toxicity on Instagram. Yet, amid the storm, Ellen's celebrity pals have fallen silent, echoing the scrutiny surrounding Diddy. Despite preaching kindness, Ellen's actions speak volumes, contradicting her own mantra of be kind to everyone. The shadows of controversy loom over both Diddy and Ellen, extending their troubling behavior to their romantic relationships, where disturbing allegations emerge. In Diddy's world, Cassie's lawsuit unveils a dark tapestry of physical violence and depravity. Yet, her ordeal wasn't isolated. Insiders reveal a pattern of aggression towards his romantic partners. According to Diddy's former bodyguard, John Deal, even his baby mama, Misa Hilton, fell victim to his rage, seeking refuge under cars to escape his fury, Kim Porter, another baby mama, reportedly suffered similar abuse, with allegations of a broken nose and invasive surveillance haunting her departure. While Ellen's partnerships haven't been marred by physical violence, whispers circulate about her allegedly controlling grip on wife Portia de Rossi. Speculation suggests Ellen may have influenced Portia to abandon her acting career, sparking questions about autonomy in their union. Their love story began in 2000, a Hollywood affair where love supposedly bloomed at first sight. Three years later, they publicly professed their affections, marking their debut as a couple in 2005. Following a whirlwind courtship, they tied the knot in 2008 celebrating gay marriages legalization in California. Yet, post-nuptials, whispers swirled. An anonymous source painted Ellen as a possessive figure, stifling Portia's independence. Allegations of jealousy and control plagued their bond, compounded by Portia's health struggles, including an eating disorder. Surprisingly, Ellen claimed ignorance of Portia's issues until revealed in her book. Publicly, Portia stood by Ellen, but insiders hint at a darker reality. Speculation arises of fear driving Portia's support, shedding light on the complexities and challenges lurking behind their closed doors. The insider divulged Portia's first-hand experience with Ellen's iron grip and chilly demeanor, painting a vivid picture of Ellen's controlling tendencies. Having weathered Ellen's storm herself, Portia holds a unique understanding of her wife's behavior. What's more, recent rumblings suggest Ellen's possessiveness has escalated, perhaps fueled by paranoia that Portia might spill her secrets to the media. It's often said that birds of a feather flock together, and Ellen and Diddy seem to be no exception. Their shared traits likely drew them together, with Diddy's frequent appearances on The Ellen Show cementing their bond and shared experiences. As scrutiny mounts on their friendship, intriguing clips from their talk show rendezvous resurface, shedding light on their dynamic. In one instance, Ellen prods Diddy about his dream elevator companion, prompting a spontaneous response that adds an air of mystery to their connection. As Diddy and French Montana engage in a risk game with Ellen, sparking discomfort and unease. Clips also capture their playful banter about attending each other's parties, hinting at the social aspect of their bond. In a viral showdown, Diddy playfully corners Ellen about her party attendance, injecting a playful zest into their exchange. These glimpses into their relationship dynamics captivate audiences, especially when juxtaposed with Ellen's palpable nervousness when probed about Diddy by paparazzi, adding fuel to the speculation surrounding their bond. As for the speculation swirling around Ellen's alleged attendance at Diddy's infamous gatherings, separating fact from fiction proves challenging without solid proof, yet, the recent paparazzi encounter casts a spotlight on the nature of their relationship, leaving lingering questions about what truly lies beneath.
Drawing parallels between Ellen and Diddy isn't uncommon in the realm of public scrutiny. While shared traits or experiences may abound, it's crucial to dissect each individual's actions and character independently. In the end, only time will unveil the truth behind the whispers. Nevertheless, the rumors have ignited a blaze of curiosity, leaving many eager to unravel the enigma that is Ellen and Diddy's friendship.